Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Rebecca's doing the cruise. So today I have a special uh, DIY for you guys. It's almost Valentine's Day and so with that comes time to do the um, tradition of creating Valentine's Day boxes with your children for their classroom party. So um, this year we kind of put our heads together and my daughters came up with unicorns. So that's the theme of the boxes for today are unicorns. And um, just about everything that I use in this project can be found at Dollar Tree, except for a few of the little paints and things like that. I purchased those at Walmart, but they're very inexpensive, probably about 50 cents to you know less than a dollar. So everything, like I said, can be purchased at Dollar Tree except for the paint. And so I just wanted to show you guys these boxes. They are so cute. You can make them any color. You can, you know, just kind of tweak them to, you know, fit whatever your uh, kids would like as far as color schemes go. And I just love the way these turned out. They're so cute. And what's the most exciting part of all is the horn for the unicorn lights up, which is just really cool. Like it's really super cute. So I can't wait to show you guys this um, project. So let's get started. Okay, so the supplies you need is a cardboard box. You're also going to need one of these cone shapes from Dollar Tree, some of this mesh tubing, and some curly ribbons. I like the iridescent ones, and I got them in the pink, white, and purple, and I also made a blue one. You're also going to need a hot glue gun, and I'm going to use these LED wire lights left over from Christmas, and some paint to match, and uh, some gemstones. This is optional. You guys can do yours however you want. And you're going to need some cardboard shapes for the ears and some spray paint. The additional supplies are listed here. Some of the things are optional, and I just want to make sure you guys had a list of everything you needed. So step one, what you're going to do is spray paint your box. This did take two coats, and it was easy to do. While it dried, we're going to do step two, which is we're going to open up our cone and... After that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where we want to start um, to hollow out the um, center of this because we're going to fill this with lights. So you don't have to do this step. If you don't have this tool, you could just use a knife. You don't even have to, you know, hollow out the center of your styrofoam, but I just thought it would be cute to have the, um, the cone light up. So I used these um, drill bits that my husband had. Um, I did this for the first one. The second one, I did just use a knife. It wasn't that hard to hollow it out. It was a little time consuming, but literally the, for the whole project, this is the most time consuming part. So step three, I just took a marker and I drew some diagonal lines all the way down the cone. So I did this twice. That way I had a lot of um, the spiral going down the cone. And we're going to hollow this out as well so that the light will shine through the cone. So once I have finished going down at one time, I just started again at the top in a different section and then kind of in between the first set of lines. And then I made another set of lines just curling down the um, unicorn horn. Okay, so now taking my X-Acto knife, I'm just going to hollow out this line and what I want to make sure I do is I don't want to go all the way through but I do want to get you know all of the pink marker gone and you just want to kind of you know hollow it out a little bit it's just going to help the light shine through and I just thought it made it look more like a unicorn by hollowing out these little sections right here. Okay, so step four, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the horn. So I painted mine pink and blue. I made two of these for my daughters, and then I decorated them with these gemstones. As This is what it looks like when it's finished. For step five, we are going to cut a hole in the center of the box, like the lid, and then we're going to hot glue the battery door on the inside of the box. Make sure it's so that you can change the batteries. And then we're going to fish the lights up through the box. Make sure that they work, which I should have done to begin with, and then we're going to stuff these down inside of the unicorn horn. Um, I ended up taking a pencil and helping me, you know, kind of shove it way down in the inside, and then I just used my finger to get the rest of the lights down into the horn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to finish fishing this wire up inside the horn, and then once I figured out exactly where I was going to place it, I just took these double mounting 
double-sided sticky tape mounting squares that I got at Dollar Tree and I placed them all around the base of the unicorn horn and then I stuck it to the lid of the box. Stick it down pretty good. Remember, kids are going to be carrying these to school and you know how kids are, so just make sure you put enough tape on to hold it in place. Okay, so now they can open and shut the lid and this will allow them to turn the lights on and off at school so that they can show everybody how cool their box is. So step six, what we're going to do now is we're just gonna take these ribbons apart. So these ribbons are just stapled together. So what I did is I just pulled them apart from the stapler the staple and then I just um, put them in their separate piles so I could kind of space them out sporadically on the box so I didn't have all the same colors kind of clumped together and I used two different kinds of bows um, for this project. I used the iridescent ones and then I just used these pink and purple and white ones and then I hot glued these to the box. Now I will say for the blue box that I made I actually used double sided sticky tape and that did work as well so it's your choice what you want to use to stick this to the box. Either way it was just as easy with the tape or with the glue. It didn't really matter. And then I made sure it looked like a horse's mane down the back. Now step seven we're going to make the ears. So I took this um, cardboard and I just kind of drew an ear form and what you're going to do is you're going to trace this on some um, contact paper. I used glitter paper that I got at Walmart and all I did was I traced it you know so the points are touching and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to put this cardboard form in the center of this and then just fold it over and stick it to the cardboard form as you see here. So once I peel that off, I'm just going to take this little piece of cardboard. It was just a folder, actually. It wasn't even a cardboard. And um, so I'm going to stick this down to the glitter contact paper and then fold that piece over to cover it. And then I just trim up the edges just to clean it up and make it look nice. I actually forgot to mention this in the supplies, the contact paper. You can kind of use anything you want. You could even use construction paper. I just had this at home already, which is why I'm using it. Just make sure you line it up, and then all you have to do is kind of, you know, clean up the edges a little bit because it's not, you know, going to be perfect. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make this look like an ear that's kind of like standing up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a little slit right there and then you're just going to grab those two pieces and fold them in on top of each other and that's going to give a 3D effect to make it look like an ear. So I just put a little bead of hot glue and then glue these two pieces together and then I fold these bottom corners up and then I just glue them right to the box. I actually should have put the ears on first, but it didn't really matter. I was able to move the ribbons over and get the ears where they needed to be. And here's the ears on. So for step eight, what we're going to do is we're going to make a tail. So we're taking this mesh um, tubing that I got at Dollar Tree, and I just cut them into about 10-inch pieces, and then I bound them together with a rubber band. And there's my dog. He's always where I'm at. I don't know if you can see him up at the top there, but he's always right where I'm at, even on the table. Okay, so now that I have this um, horse's tail all together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little hole in the back of the box with my razor blade. And there it is right there. And then all I do is I um, fish it through and I use my other hand inside the box to help pull it through. Now once this is through, I did put some hot glue on the inside of the box and the outside just to help hold these in to make sure they didn't come out. It's a pretty tight fit though if you don't cut too big of a hole. Now to get these to stick together to look more like a tail, I took an extra piece of ribbon and I just tied this together at the base and that helped hide the hole that I cut in the box. And then I'm just going to take some um, regular ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to tie this um, at the end of the tail. And then I'm going to make a little bow and I'm going to attach that also. And that just kind of looks like a cute little ponytail in the back. 
And this is why it's so cute to put the mane like in the back and kind of have those curls going all the way down. It really helps tie it all together and make it look like a real pony. Now I'm just going to take this ruler and figure out where my little mailbox is going to be. So this is step nine. So I just take my ruler and I draw some lines down the box. And I'm going to cut along the top and down these sides to make the little mail slot so that she can open and close her box for bigger or smaller cards and then be able to close it up to bring them home. So once I just drew this little flap, I just cut it with my X-Acto knife and it was actually pretty easy to follow. And then I just put these two little brads in at the top and the bottom and I connected them with this little rubber band. I had to loosen it a little bit to get the rubber band around it. And I just twisted that around one time and then I was able to um, tighten the brad back down and then I was able to close the door by attaching it to the top brad. Now she'll be able to do this at school and close up her box. And then I just decorated the door with her name. Now for step 10 is putting the face on. So I'm just gonna use a paint marker and I also used a silver marker and then the paint that I painted the horn with, I used to create the cheeks on the unicorn. So I just kind of followed this face from something that I saw on Pinterest. So I just thought it was cute with the little eyes closed and the little girly eyelashes. So I just kind of free handed that. But I did, you know, trace it on with a pencil just to make sure that they were the same size and in the same spot. I actually just marked it with some little dots just to make sure that, I, you know, I wasn't doing one eye higher than the other, or one longer than the other. And then I drew the little smile on and then I just traced these with a little bit of the pink paint that I painted the horn with. And now I'm just going to go ahead and paint these little circles on for the cheeks and to uh, create the cheeks so that they were perfect circles. I actually just traced the um, bottle of paint, the lid, and that made the um, cheeks for the unicorn. So here this one is all finished. This is the pink one and I used the LED lights had like little like Christmas stockings so they kind of looked like a reddish pink color which I thought matched um, this unicorn pretty well and then for Shayna I made her a blue one and I had leftover um, Christmas tree LED lights that I had purchased at Dollar Tree and so I thought that was kind of cute to do the blue with the green lights inside and it really matched and these are the um, both of them together and that's what the horn looks like with the lights off so you guys could see them better and this is a close-up of the blue one that I made for Shayna. I absolutely love this blue one. I know the pink one's like really girly, but I don't know. There's something about the blue one that just like, I love this one. I thought it was super cute. I love them both, but the blue one is my favorite. And I stuck these little hearts on the back just to decorate those. Those are just stickers from Dollar Tree as well. Those are all optional supplies. Okay, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and creating um, one of these unicorn boxes with your children. If you do, I would love to see pictures of how it turned out in the comments, so go ahead and post those. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video, which is usually every other day, go ahead and hit that notification bell. We do haul videos, walk with me, shop videos, and um, crafting videos. So if you'd like those, then please go ahead and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video and you want to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, that would be much appreciated and share with anyone else that you think might like to see this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.